got some pretty stuff in here. <laughs> On my dining room table. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, so Kinsley and I are in Texas. Romeo and I bought a cottage here in Texas, close to my parents' house. If you haven't seen any of the videos over on my other channel, where we bought a house, we're looking for houses, my preliminary plans for what we wanna do to the cottage, you should check it out. We even started demo, but it is going to be very cold here. So I have to go back over to the house and turn off the water so my pipes don't freeze, which has never been a problem I've had before. I've never had to worry about that. And I want to do some antique shopping and thrift shopping. I love shopping early in the early stages of any like design project because it gives me a lot of inspiration. Like if I find this really cool table or thing, it can inspire and spawn into like other things. So I love to do that early, even if we don't buy anything or find anything, but I always find stuff thrift shopping. Kinsley's already in her little bed. Look at my little girl. Kinsley, are you gonna be a good, good baby? Look at this big bed I bought you compared to you. I love you. So you want a treat? <gasps> Do you want a treat? Oh, okay. These are her treats that she loves. They're lamb, apple, and cinnamon petite treats. Loves them. They're soft. They're soft chews. And they're little bitty. Look, they're little bitty for her. I love her. Here you go, baby. If you guys have seen any of my room makeover videos in the past, I usually love drawing sketches to kind of envision what the space would look like and give you guys a better idea too. So this is the entryway and the living room and then that's the kitchen and the dining room on that side. I've already been doing some shopping online. I've been saving some things that I absolutely love so that when they go on sale or something like that, it kind of notifies me. So I wanna show you guys that and then we'll head to the antique shop and the thrift store. So on my computer, I used to save links to products that I liked in the notes on my computer when I was like shopping and stuff, but it was always a lost cause because I never had pictures with it. But now shopping for the house, I actually use the Shop Tagger Chrome extension on my computer and then also the app on my phone, which not only allows me to save wish list items for the house, but it also alerts me when they go on sale or back in stock or they have a coupon, something like that. And I've been meaning to order some aloe leggings for a while. And I ordered some earlier today and Shop Tagger found me a coupon code and I saved like 16 bucks. So it's, I mean, it's like a win-win. So it's super easy and free to install. So on your computer, just download the browser button from the Google Chrome store and then you can shop online at all of your favorite stores. And then once you find some Something that you really love that you want to keep an eye on you just click the shop tagger button or slider and you can save it and then if the button is ever in your way you can move or drop it down for convenience then once your items go on sale or come back in stock you can be notified by email or a push notification to your phone so you get alerted you can also make different lists too which I've done I have one for the cottage for the house stuff and then one for clothes that I love that I want soon and that way you can shop more mindfully too and then when you're checking out shop tagger will use Use clever tech to scan the web for coupon codes and we'll apply them for you at checkout this is a special feature that they have with the Chrome extension and as if it could get any better they just recently launched a cashback feature so you can earn cash via PayPal with participating retail partners so you need this so click the link in my description box to download shop tagger on your computer and do it on your phone too so you can start saving on things you already want to buy so I need a jacket. Let's go shopping. Kinsley, here's your water. Be a good girl. Drink some water. Okay, welcome to the house. We're here. I need to drain the water. I have this little tool here. So we're gonna turn this off like that. And now ah! to drain it. Yeah, it drained it pretty much out there. are so pretty for like a bar area that I don't own. Yeah, oh my gosh, my cabinet. Oh my gosh, look, I love all of everything on here. What's that bowl? No price. This bowl's really pretty. Me too. I like this one. Oh, 
those are pretty. definitely be on a mission to find some doorknobs. At our next stop, this is actually an architectural salvage store place. And they have home goods stuff too. That could be interesting to salvage some stuff. I see some stuff out there. We'll see. Live edge pieces of wood. Look at all this. $20? Wait, what? $900. Oh yeah, for sure, $900. All these windows. L Max Ranch windows, original glass, seventy-five dollars each, forty by thirty-four. Oh my goodness! Ooh. These are from New Mexico. There's some smaller ones. I mean, that would kind of be cool. One seventy-five. They're really pretty. There's smaller ones too here, look, on my dining room table. Oh my gosh. All the ones I like aren't priced. I'm like a kid in a candy store. <gasps> the arches. <laughs> I love arches. Look at the arches. Look how pretty they are. But they're $400 a piece but they're so pretty. Look at these. With, look at the latch up there. They're square so they match the trim kind of like feeling in the house. Ooh, they got some pretty stuff in here. I love this rolling pin. They got doors all around this place. Transom windows from Oak Park gas station. You're not buying anything? You have such restraint. Look at this black iron mirror. I love that. That's so pretty. $1.99. Ooh! <laughs> Look at this rolling pin. Look at these bells. I just keep saying, Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Okay, that was such a pretty store. They have so many pieces in there that are salvaged from different places, like all around. I saw things from like Pennsylvania and stuff that they've just salvaged from older buildings. And I love those doors. So I put them on hold. I think they would be really pretty as French doors going out from the primary bedroom, like my bedroom in the, in the back of the house off to the patio in the garden. I hold them for three days and I wanna measure really good and make sure that that's something that could work. So that's why it's good to you know shop around for things like that early on in the process because those doors are obviously a specific size so we can build accordingly because that's in the addition part that we're gonna be adding to the house. They're so cute. Look, the S and the P for $10. Oh no. Yes, bring that to me. <laughs> what? Oh, mom. I know you. You do know me, but right? are these cute right here? Look at these. So, but I don't know how much they are. Are they 350 or are they 10? Yeah.
have some of these. Oh, twenty dollars. I think I got them for an eight dollars piece. Look how cool these are. Like the whole set. Sugar, coffee, tea. What was the one in the bag said? Flour. All these decor books, but I picked these colors out because I have a lot of these colors, like these um, richer kind of like rust color. And I wanted some more muted jewel tone colors. And I think these are really pretty. So all of these are $20 together. Look how cute. Guys, so we were at this little antique um, yard sale, and they said that A Street Market went with A Street. Actually, they said uh, y'all aren't at the sale. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what? A Eighth Street Market, which is an, a little big antique and home decor store, here is having a huge sale. So we have to go. We have to. We're we're doing this. <laughs> It's cute. Oh, everything. Look, this vendor is 15% off. Like maybe they're sectioned. Yeah, they're, they're different vendors in each one. Hello. Oh. Mm -hmm. $4.99. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that can make it. I know, where's the sale? Look at that jug up there. Why am I such a sucker for jugs? Ooh, $49. Pretty. Imagine these like in a craft room with all of your yarn they spooled on them. So pretty. You want like a little clawfoot iron gar a garden? Clawfoot iron garden? Yes, I do. Their plants are sadly dying. All of those. That's what's in my house. On the corners. $12 a piece. I know. I mean, if I need more, I'm going to have to source some. They, they price theirs up so much, though. the exact same design that I have too. Oh. Well, it's very similar. Oh, we, we would have to know for sure, but it'd be a great source to find some things that we need for the house. We're using everything in the house that we possibly can, that we can restore. We may need some more things, you know? See, this is gonna be so much fun, you guys. Pretty this fireplace screen. Yeah. It's really pretty actually. Twelve dollars. Oh. The big room. Look how 
pretty these are. Oh, look at this little collection. 19 for these. 49, but look at the shape. That's such a cool shape. Some more. Oh, I love the corks in them. 49. All the brass. A lot more than I pay though. It's the next day. Let's do a little haul of all of the things that we found. Books. So I was happy when I found these colors because normally I gravitate towards books that are either beige or rust and then the contents of them are like poetry or art or architecture. Those are the books that I love the most. I found these pretty colors. Look at all those rich jewel tones. A little bit softer, but no rust, because I've already got tons of those. So all of, I thought these were all gonna cost me about $20. A lot of them were half price, but look how pretty they are. So rich greens and purples and blues. Love them. So I got them for all for like 50 cents to a dollar fifty to two dollars, which is really great for books, for like bookshelves and stuff. So and then I found same place. I found this little teapot. This is a very similar teapot to one that I've already found at a thrift store in the Valley in Los Angeles. I found it and I believe I paid around the same price because this was 50% off of $6. But look how cute. I know I keep talking about this pop-up that we're gonna do once upon a time at some point down the road, but I felt like you guys needed this in that pop-up. Oh, what's in here? I don't remember. Oh, this was from the same store too. I just couldn't leave it. It was 50% off of a dollar. It was 50 cents. Look at this cute little vase. It's so tiny. Maybe it's for something. I don't know if it's for sake or it was just, it was so cute. I had to have it, 50 cents. So those were all from the same place. From a different thrift store, I found this. This is a wall pendant light, a wall, no, wall pendant light, wall sconce. I'm pretty sure it was still there because you definitely have to have a place for it because it has to be hardwired in. I just thought it was so pretty and detailed. It'd be pretty like at the end of one of the hallways that we're doing in the house. Priced at $13. As we're building the house, I'll just make sure to keep this in mind. Different thrift store. I found jugs. <laughs> I always, I feel like maybe all of the footage you're gonna see is like me touching or picking up a jug. But look at them. This one is a whiskey jug and it's just the perfect ashy beige. This one was $30. I can imagine this like up high, decorated into the kitchen somehow. Next, another jug. This one is also a whiskey jug. This one was a really pretty color. I think my, no, my mom found me the other one. This one was so pretty. This one was $20, but I love the kind of mix of some with handles, one handle, some with double handles, like a more of a vessel vase, and then some like this, like without, because they're pretty kind of like collage together. And then my mom found this pretty guy. This almost looked, the bottom almost looks like concrete, but it has like this cool distressing here. And then it's the mustard color. I love anything mustard or rust or jewel toned. At the same place, we found these little salt and pepper shakers. They're so pretty. I love that this color isn't pure white. It's more of like an ash color. It makes the blue look really subtle and pretty. So that was all at the same place. I got all of those. And then I found this picture. It's actually a velvet art piece, but it's totally damaged. I put my hand through it. <laughs> Um, but I didn't buy it for the actual picture. I bought it for the frame. My mom got one too, so we got two for seven, so 350. But it's a really pretty gold frame. Look how pretty the frame is. I was like, mom, you can totally paint me something for that frame for the house. Actually, last but not least, I do want those doors. Those are, the, I only need to buy those doors for the house. All of the other doors are being matched up and moved to like their proper place in the house as we redesign the floor plan. Those are the only doors I needed and they're the same size as my front door. So they're gonna be perfect. But I hope you guys liked coming antique shopping and thrift shopping with us. Ugh, I feel like this is gonna be the first of many adventures of us antique shopping and thrift shopping. We haven't even begun. And if you're shopping online and you wanna save things for later, 
later and get alerted when they go on sale or get some coupons, definitely download the Shop Tagger plugin for Chrome. So if you're not subscribed here to the vlog channel, you should be, and you should also check out all of the new content I have on over on my other channel with the cottage and all the work that we've been doing on it so far. I'll leave all of those linked below so that you guys can check it out and I will see you guys again next week. Bye guys. Livy, are you coming to say hi? <gasps> this is Olivia. She's a little nugget. That's Jealous Kinsley. Why are you jealous of her?